Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Restored Quirky and League, and uh, we have a decision to make about the uh, giant space slugs. We have successfully cloned them, and uh, they can make excellent na laborers. We get uh, four pops on Krant Prime. Uh, which would actually be a pretty nice-ish. Um, I don't think I have a whole lot of jobs that they can do. Uh, they belong in a zoo, we get, uh, isolated valleys, or, uh, we could use them in the army. I would not want an army of murderous slugs. Uh, they are very, very powerful, but, uh, I think I'll make them laborers instead. And they decided to go over here instead. Okay, I have an unemployed Azizian. They are Arctic preference. They are proles. Minerals from jobs, food from jobs, plus 10%. But uh, physics, engineering, society research, minus 15%. Um, but uh, these three are already working farming jobs, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Actually, let's not upgrade that yet. Let's go ahead and build that and then upgrade it. So we'll get some extra food out of them. And... Armies... Recruit... So they make normal assault armies, unfortunately. Although they uh, do a bit more damage. Faction founded. New political faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Restored Quirkian League. Uh, led by Governor Caretaker AX7B, they call themselves the Xeno Freedom Initiative. Their members have been pushing for hard for friendly relations with alien species. Okay, let's see what you got. Indirect Xenology, I'm not doing that. No species-wide slavery, all right? No purges. Uh, I could easily do that. M multicultural Society. Hosting at least four unique species within our empire will please them. All refugees welcome. I can change that. Recent enlightenment. I haven't done that. Federated. Haven't done that. New contact. Haven't done that. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Where are those? Policies. Uh, let's see. Belligerent. Cooperative. Diplomatic weight plus 25%, Envoy improved relations plus 50%, Border friction minus 50%, Isolationist, Expansionist, Outpost build cost, and Colony development speed, Border friction plus 100%. Uh, I'm okay with that. Supremacist. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on a, uh, Expansionist until I've uh, built my outposts. Uh, war philosophy, unrestricted wars is fine. Orbital bombardment, uh, I'm okay with that for now. Native interference, okay with that. Native enlightenment. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Resettlement is prohibited. Land appropriation is prohibited. First contact protocol, uh, that should actually be peaceful. Oh, shoot. This is going to piss off my uh, silver guard, isn't it? Uh, failing to allow for offensive warfare. Okay, that's fine. Neighborhood route. Oh, no. Okay. They're happy. Uh, ish. I mean, as happy as they can be. Policies. Uh, initial border status open. Food policy. Dietary balance is fine. Pop food upkeep plus 25%. Um, we're going to be getting some more food. They get plus 10%. So I'm actually going to switch over to that now. Economic policy. I'm fine on mixed economy right now. Trade policy is fine. 
Artificial intelligence, that is fine. Robotic workers, that is fine. Uh, Pre-sapience, protected. They cannot be selectively purged. Planets containing pre-sapience cannot be terraformed. Tolerated, hunted, exterminated. Um, yeah, that's fine. Refugees. Uh, refugees, welcome. It's fine with me. Population controls are prohibited. Slavery is prohibited. And purge. Displacement only. Uh, I'm going to go with prohibited because, you know, I mean, everyone must be free. Why would we even displace people? That's not freedom. We'd, we need to be aggressively free. And, of course, that does mean uh, genociding the Hazar throng eventually because... Uh, I mean, to a certain extent, they believe in freedom, uh, the freedom to be food. So, you know, I mean, kind of understand that. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Uh, there's, there's two extra jobs there, so I don't need to do anything. There is one unemployment here. Um, I'm going to go with a research lab. Yeah, it's weird that it was saying Krant Prime, and then it actually went with Wentwort. Went, 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 wort. I should rename that one just because it's a terrible name. Uh, so we got some Arctic guys. Can we not colonize with them? 65%. 45%. Why is that? Oh, right, because of uh, habitability minus 10 and that. All right. 65% would be okay. I could turn that into a food world. Doesn't have anything special. Energy credits from jobs and uh, physics research. Uh, you know what? It's okay. I mean, they're proles. Minerals from jobs and uh, food from jobs. We'll start doing so. A canopus is now uh, colonizable, though. Or it's now green rather than yellow, I should say. Okay, so they have decided to take that system, finally. I cannot see how dangerous their station is there. I mean, I do get why they would go after me rather than these guys, so... <laughs> They're kind of in a, a sticky spot to a certain extent. Go ahead and research that, research that. That is the uh, Bralmus... Was I going to send you through there as well? I guess so. Okay, you have one spare job as well. Let's get some uh, generator districts going. Gas giant ship. Active scans of a ship so far have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize, and science officer Viola Bloom has proposed a salvage project of our own. Uh, bring it up, whatever it is. Worst case scenario is we fail. Technology discovered. Okay, Ceramo Metal Materials. Elegate Insights. Don't care about that right now. Standardized Destroyer Patterns. Starhold. We want that. It's going to be 71 months, but... It's kind of crucial.
That's a lot of ships there. Splitting the Atom. Physicists from the alien civilization on Menchib 4 have managed to split the Atom for the first time. With the discovery of nuclear fission, the first nuclear weapons are inevitably being produced, and nuclear power plants are coming online. The Gargassi civilization has entered the critical phase where they suddenly possess the means to destroy their own world with the press of a button. A significant development. Alright, so that's uh, 3.6 a lot of Corvettes. Yeah, I... I mean, I'd have to, like, take them piecemeal kind of thing. And they'd be replenishing the whole time. Anomaly detected. It's not great. Uh, shapes on the barren surface that could be buildings. Go ahead and research that, even though it's a really long time. Also, alright, so I'm at uh, 41 out of 54. Alright, that'll take me one over. Special project complete. Alright, in a masterful display of engineering, the team under science officer Viola Bloom has managed to gently raise a derelict ship on a ship so four to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser is in remarkably good condition, and we have restored power to its systems. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. Okay. So, hyperdrive 2. Got medium plasma accelerators, large x-ray lasers, deflector 4, durasteel armor, Unfortunately, if this gets destroyed, that will be a, a boon to their own, you know, to my enemy's uh, research. And we cannot add it to the uh, fleet. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a, uh, another person to it. There we go. And go ahead and replenish that. All right. Get over there as well. All right, so we have another ship in our uh, fleet at least. Now, I don't think that they're building their fleets at the moment. Oh, you idiot. Well, I think we're about to lose this one. Alright, no. Didn't lose it, luckily. Mandate unfulfilled. Our council's, council's reign came to an end with their election campaign promises unfulfilled. Alright, let's go ahead and restrict that system. So that doesn't happen again. Okay, uh, monthly unity, edict cost, edict duration, don't care about that, trade value, eh, don't really care about most of these. Defense platform build cost would not be bad, especially if uh, our foes plan to attack our neighbor here. Okay, the City of Ghosts. Our surface expedition has reportedly reported back with some astounded, astounding findings. A planet has multiple major cities, all abandoned, but in quite good shape, considering their age. The infrastructure and urban planning of each city is remarkably structured and harmonious, indicating a highly cohesive civilization driven by centralized collective ideals, perhaps even a gestalt consciousness of some kind. Based on the architecture and interior fixtures, the species that built all this seems to have been small fungoids with a fairly low state of technical advancement. Where exactly they all went remains unknown. 
Keep digging. Found one minor artifact. <laughs> Substance abuser, expertise, field manipulation, biology, resilient. Hey, you get leader lifespan plus five now, yay. <laughs> uh, that's good times. Construction complete. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and build those. Size 22 Arctic World could be good to colonize. I'll go with that. Alright. So we have uh, elected someone new, Erica Garland. Previously ruler on Albus. Unity and Frontier Spirit. Uh, food growth. Plus 15 per month. Yeah, we got that easily. Unless, of course, we don't have that by the end. Which uh, <laughs> is possible. It is definitely possible. Um, Menchib. So I cannot do Covert Infiltration. I could do a Technological Enlightenment. I would definitely want to get that uh, archaeological site first. What do I need for this? Uh, gene tailoring. Okay. Establishing colony. Imdar Prime. Energy signature. The ISS Paradoxus has picked up a strange energy signature coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Ozagamum 1. It appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital installation, but the atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have yielded a large amount of very valuable physics data. Fascinating. 150. Okay, and I have capped out on minerals. Let's go ahead and sell just 5,000. And let's buy 1250 alloys. So I got a lot of alloys uh, coming in. Get back here, please. Seven out of eight. I could build another uh, silicon life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Ozagamum 8. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shifted, shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Okay. Alright, so seven out of eight. Where would be a, another good place to build a. Station. Obviously, that would be okay. But I should probably also take a look at this building over here, would be good. So we're losing some because they're going through there. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Go ahead and upgrade that. Also, my... Uh, did I lose a... No, I didn't lose anyone on one of these. I don't know where that person came from. Whatever. Um, Alright, so one worker unemployment... I need more science. Research lab. I do have uh, poor amenities, unfortunately, and six crime. Should do something about that. We'll see. We'll see what we can do about that. Okay, about time. Let's start exploring.
I imagine that there's going to be uh, space monsters in some of these systems here. But eventually I'll go out this way. I might be able to uh, jump out to that. Not sure. I think I might need to know the name. Also, defenses. Let's get some defenses on that. Okay. Another scientist has died. Go ahead and recruit you. Who else is old? Let's recruit you. I'll leave you. I'll go with the eager person. That's fine. I suppose I should have taken the person with the uh, extra lifespan, but eh, whatever. Uh, Winkward Artem has a specialist available. Let's go for some science. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Do we really need to learn be alerted every time one of those upgrades? After a detailed analysis, Officer Violet Garland has discovered that the strange metallic substance coating the surface of Borobaba 5 in fact comprises of billions upon billions of nanites. These nanites are microscopic, self-replicating micro-machines. Yeah, but I can't read it that fast. Perhaps created by a past civilization for some unknown purpose. The volume and density of this nanite sludge is remarkable, adding billions of tons of mass to the underlying planet. It would appear these tiny self-replicators entered a state of runaway reproduction at some point in the past, engulfing the planet and everything on it. In studying the nanites, the crew has made some exciting new d findings that will undoubtedly aid us in our research. Uh, technology gained assembly patterns and Elgate insight gained. Technology discovered. Okay. Research option gained, Elgate activation. And we got uh, assembly patterns. Planet build speed plus 25%. Very nice. Ships upgraded. All right, what else can we do with you? Got someone working on that. Is there another one somewhere in my uh, space already that I could work? Well. This will be kind of risky, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. You are 99. You are probably going to die very soon, though. Ships upgraded. Thank you for alerting me every single time. I appreciate it. I'm lying, I don't appreciate it. Evading hostiles. Encounter assassin. He aliens. These are oh, okay. Uh, amoebas. Uh they're not gonna translate my own thing, so that's not a problem. Unusual tectonics. What the ISS Tenoclarius found on Hanteron 5 were not buildings, but surprisingly regular mineral outcroppings. Science officer Hazel Light asserts that these angular blocks of rock are the product of interactions between tectonic plates. Their shapes the result of the unusual tecton tectonophysics inherent in the planet's crust. The uh, uh, perfect angularity of these thrust faults implies a possibility of aliens tampering with Hanteron 5's crust at some point in the past. Most intriguing. Uh, 
Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Okay, let's get out here. Survey complete. All right, let's go ahead and research projects, research anomalies, and where do we want to go next? Not that one. That would be a good next choice. Not that one. That's 4K. Definitely can't take that one yet. That is only 7K. That is 9K. That would be an okay one to go after, actually. Construction complete. I would maintain my fleet near the borders here. Not sure if they've increased the size of their fleet there. Uh, they're still overwhelming, so I do need to be uh, careful of that. They are equivalent. They are equivalent. And they are equivalent. Cordial. It is a shame we cannot uh, get anything... Like, do a defensive pact with them. I mean, I understand them not needing it. <laughs> <sighs> Disappointingly. Um, let's go ahead and fill out that uh, generator district. What do we have? Ruined Arcology. 33% chance of one minor artifact, three minor art artifacts, or five minor artifacts. That is extremely expensive, though. I do not have any tech to decrease the cost, so I'm a little bit loath to clear some of those at the moment. Okay, lost you. Uh, what are we looking at? That is particles. Dang it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, come on, game. That's nice. I will keep you around. Two of you. Get rid of one of you. Game. Game. All right, uh, let's go with uh, the leader gain one. And now I need to sell off some uh, more minerals. Just make sure that I have a bit on hand. Okay, leaders, uh, sorry, you get fired. You get fired. You get fired. You get fired, you get fired, you get fired, and you get fired. Rather disappointing. Anyway, when we come back next time, um, still going to need to build up my fleet because I am most certainly worried about uh, what these guys might do. Uh, they're building that up. That's understandable. Uh, interestingly enough, with the starbase right here, Can I not see, can I see the star base? 877. Okay. The uh the star base is actually not that dangerous for me. I got 2k on that. Um so they would definitely take some losses against that. Not as much as I would like, but some. Uh, but it would be pretty easy to take that, and I could even ignore it and just zip on through here. Get around to their homeworld. So, I should actually, uh... Build some armies. Actually, I should build the... Azizians.
Can only support four. All right, that's fine. That's good enough. All right, so we'll uh, we'll queue those up. We'll have at least some armies in case we need to uh, go and invade. As long as I can beat back their fleet, I can get to their capital. Like they have left a uh, a route open. I just need to go around a few ways. Kind of surprised that they haven't taken that world yet. I mean, I can even go around that. Yeah, they have, uh, they have poorly laid that out. I mean, to be fair, if they take any of my stations, they've got an easy path as well. But anyway, that's it. That'll be it for uh, this episode. When we come back next time, we are going to keep an eye on them. See you then, everyone.